Y'all have been going crazy a little bit in my comments of my last video where I tried Korean skincare. Let's play a little game of patch the details. This video is titled, Trying TikTok Viral Korean Skincare. That's eyelashes. Upon making this video, I knew that chances are a lot of these products are probably not very popular in Korea itself. All right. I decided, you know what? Why don't I do a video where I actually try popular skincare in Korea, not just viral Korean skincare from TikTok, because those are two distinctly different things. In this video, as you guys have probably guessed, I am going to be trying out some Korean skincare that's actually popular in Korea. Well, I already tried it out. And girl, I got some tea to spill, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to Boss Girlified. You know it's your, it's girl. your girl, Tima. The May Manyo M A dot dot N Y O cleansing pure cleansing oil. I've tried quite a few cleansing oils in the past like six months, I would say. Nothing is as moisturizing as the Manyo. I'm just gonna say Manyo, okay? Manyo, Manyo. Nothing is as moisturizing as the Manyo cleansing oil. Not only that, it has a very nice smell. I can't really describe it. It's not too heavy, which I hate when skincare has a heavy scent. I'll save that for the perfumes, but it has a very, very nice, subtle, clean, floral smell. The only bone I have to pick with it, though, the bottle the bottle doesn't work. The, the little pump thingy, it doesn't work. My man tried to help me open the top at least so I can like just pour it out in my hand. It didn't work. Luckily, it still gets product out, but I have to like take the little pump part off and like pump it into my hand. You guys will see what I mean in this clip. But that does not take away from the fact that that cleansing oil is one of, if not the, best cleansing oils I've ever used. A lot of cleansing oils, they do the job without stripping my skin. That's like the baseline. I don't think I've ever really had a cleansing oil that cleanses my makeup off and everything off and cleanses my skin, but leaves it moisturized. Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying? Uh, I'm definitely giving that a cool, nice, solid five out of five stars. 10 out of 5 stars, like, goes with that thing. Next one is the Round Lab Cleanser. Now, moisture, hydration, gentle products are my besties. We get along like this, two peas in a pod, because I am a dry, sensitive girly, and I've had eczema growing up my entire life, so I have to be very careful with the type of products I use, or else my skin will get stripped dry and I will not be able to re-moisturize it no matter what I put on my skin. With that being said, the Round Lab cleanser was a little bit harsh for me. Aww. It was. I can see if you have like dry skin maybe, I can see that being a phenomenal cleanser because you only need a little bit of product and it foams up like nobody's business. A little bit goes a really, really long way, which is nice. So I'm gonna use the smallest amount possible. But honestly, for me, I would probably just stick to a foam cleanser. Maybe Round Lab has a foam cleanser or maybe like a more gentle cleanser that you can follow up with your oil-based cleanser. But if you have dry skin, it's probably not, it's probably gonna be a little bit too harsh for you. It literally took away the benefits that the manual cleansing oil gave to my skin and moisture. That's more of like a personal thing. For the product itself, it's a cleanser. I'm gonna be so honest, it is a cleanser. It cleanses very well though, don't get me wrong, like better than a lot of cleansers, but it really just depends on what you're looking for. For me, I'm not really looking for something that really, really cleanses my skin like squeaky clean. I'm looking for something that can not strip my skin, you know? So for me, I'm gonna have to give that a four out of five stars. I'm being generous too because that's just because it's my opinion. The next item is the Anua 77% toner. If y'all are skincare junkies, y'all know I don't care what nobody says. This, this is that girl in the skincare community. So I was really excited to try it. I will say though, the Anua 77% toner, it's definitely not 
prioritizing hydration. The main thing that it's prioritizing is improving the quality of your skin, soothing any acne you might have soothing any acne you might have for me what i noticed immediately after using this product is that it kind of helped to get rid of some of the gunk in my face as in like my nose for example that's the best thing i can think of guys i had this nasty clogged pore on my nose have y'all ever had those clogged pores on your nose that like are not visible but hurt more than any other pimple you've ever had more than like a very visible pimple it was one of them it's kind of gone now because i girl i had to i had to pop it like i really don't like popping my pimples but that one had to go that shit was so painful but it was such a relief when i got rid of it anyway besides the point when i used the anua toner i noticed that like it kind of not exfoliated my nose but it kind of helped those clogged pores come out a little bit easier than it would have before so i think the anua 77 percent toner it's really good if you are struggling with certain like problems with your skin maybe like clogged pores or acne texture maybe maybe your skin just isn't the best and right now my skin is definitely like glowing because of the other products that we will get into but um I still do have a little bit of texture because I just ended my period. There's been a lot going on, so I've been a little bit stretched. <laughs> so, you know, I had a little breakout here and um, on my forehead a little bit, but this Anua cleanser definitely helped to alleviate and soothe that breakout. So I have really nothing to complain about. I do wish it was a little bit more moisturizing, but again, that's just because I'm a dry girly. But because of that, I'm still gonna give it a four out of five stars. Next up is the Numbers in Toner Super Glowing Essence. Now, girls, I have been using this as an essence. It's quite thick. I use the Anoa Toner, and then I follow that up with the Numbers in Glowing Essence Toner. And you guys, speechless. <laughs> Numbers in is one of those brands, like, I have to try a couple more of them products because y'all the girls are on to something with that one that's all i'm gonna say about that my skin is so glowy and it's not only glowy like i hate i hate a product that just gives you the glowy look because my skin especially can feel it like my skin might look like this but it's gonna feel like this but the numbers in toner it fully like absorbs into your skin while moisturizing it and giving you that glow of like niacinamide like the glow that niacinamide gives you but it really absorbs into your skin as well and it's super hydrating there's a lot of fermented products in it which is just good in general for you period so far with the numbers and toner it's giving everything it needs to give one of my favorite toners I've ever purchased, just because it's not just one thing, it's a mixture of a lot of things that I look for in any skincare product, and it's relatively affordable comparatively, at least. Just give a wild guess. Let's do a little uh, Jeopardy. I am going to give this, is that how you do Jeopardy? I am going to give this a five out of five stars. Five out of five stars. <laughs> the next one is the Goodall Vitamin C. Now, girls, we don't lie on this channel. <laughs> Hands up. Don't get mad at me. But in my humble opinion, <laughs> it's just a vitamin C. I don't notice any difference between that and my $8 one I get from Walgreens. Shit, I don't even know. Like, I can't even tell you that just being honest but it doesn't mean i hate it at all like i definitely don't hate it it's just a vitamin c but you can definitely get more bang with your buck with any other vitamin c sir it doesn't matter what brand you get it from it's basically all going to be the same except for of course some brands add some little fillers and chemicals and stuff so just be careful of that but for the most part you can find a cheaper vitamin c that does exactly the same thing so because of that and mm, it's literally just a price point because it's like girl it's just a vitamin C. Because of that, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a two out of five stars. The next one is the Toridin Dive-In Serum. I'm not gonna lie, at first I was a little bit like, this is water. 
I was like, girl, this is water. This is not gonna do anything for my skin. I don't know if it was a combination of mixing it with the other product, but when you use it on top of your other skincare, like you're supposed to, especially, I think the Numbazin toner really kind of, kind of gripped the serum. Nothing has ever given me that type of glow before. I didn't even put any moisturizer on, and I was already looking like a glazed donut. So, um, and it's not that expensive. I got it in like a little kit with the Torrid and Dive-In cream, which we will get into, and together it was like $50 not bad at all so i mean obviously a five out of five stars the next item is of course the torrid and dive in cream listen the first thing is it reminds me a lot of the hydra boost moisturizer from neutrogena i love the hydra boost um sheet mask or the gel mask or whatever the hydra boost mask but I've never been a fan of the Hydra Boost moisturizer just because I feel like it's too watery. Like it doesn't it doesn't give my skin enough moisture. And that's the same vibe I get with the Torrid and Dive-In Cream. If you use the right type of products, like when I was just using the Anua toner with all of these other items except for the Embazin toner, my skin was not moisturized enough. But when I used it on top of like the other products with the Numbazin toner, my skin was fine. My skin was definitely very giving glazed donut. On its own, I'm not, I'm honestly just not the biggest fan of it. Also, it has a very strong chemical scent, at least for me. I think I'm more sensitive to chemical smells, like just being able to smell the product in it rather than like the fra fragrances. So for me, that was very like strong and harsh for me on my skin and like my allergies were kind of going, my nose was getting a little stuffed up. So yeah, I don't know, it's not, it's not, it's definitely not my favorite. So I'm gonna have to give it a one out of five stars. Sorry, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I know I just pissed somebody off. Next is the Isn Tree Aqua Gel Cream. Now, I do wanna mention that they did send me these products so i don't want to like act like like oh <laughs> you know just totally unsponsored because in a way i kind of am because i got these products for free but i'm still gonna be honest we, we know the drill over here this thing is so damn good it reminds me heavily of the um glow recipe moisturizer uh watermelon moisturizer but without this strong fragrance, which obviously for me is just mwah, chef's kiss. I have nothing bad to say about it. That shit had my skin moisturized all day, morning to night. So definitely five out of five stars, for sure. And finally, I wanna talk about the Isn't Tree Water Sun, Watery Sun Gel. Don't get me wrong, I love Beauty of Joseon because it blends into my skin, it's, pretty flawless like you can't really tell that i'm wearing sunscreen but this shit right her i don't know what formula they use it's definitely watery but not watery to where it's like girl you're stripping all my moisture away watery to where it's like i'm still gonna be moisturized but it's not gonna feel like anything is on my face and it's gonna blend in so nicely and so lightweight and seamlessly you guys, I don't know what the hell type of shit they put in this damn sunscreen, but it's like an extra layer of moisture. That's it. It doesn't even feel like a sunscreen. So this is one of my favorite sunscreens I've ever tried. Ever. And they have an onion one too. I've tried a little bit. That one is basically the same thing. Like it blends in like ease, like butter. So I have nothing to complain about there. Uh, five out of five stars. 10 out of 10 stars. 10 out of five stars. A thousand out of five stars. Anyways, guys, that is it for my video on rating Korean skincare products that are actually popular in Korea. Let me know any other products that um, you guys think I should try that are very popular in Korea. Obviously, I'm not in Korea, nor am I Korean. <laughs> so I don't really know what exactly is popular in Korea. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see me review in the future. If you guys want a part three-ish, yeah, part three Korean skincare video. Woo woo. Give up for the part for part three. Um, so just let me know in the comments down below what products I should try if I decide to do it next. Or honestly, just give me some video ideas. I have a lot coming out though soon. And you guys, my next video. Anyways, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those.
Like, come on. Anyways, it has been Tima, and I'll see you on another video soon. Bye, guys.